Hey, Amelia here with some very special space news. You might notice something a bit different about today's episode, like that very big dish in the background. That's because I'm here at the CSIRO Parks Radio Telescope in New South Wales to celebrate the 50th anniversary of a very special event. It's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Yep, the moon landing. Did you know those images were picked up by this dish right here? The mission was called Apollo 11 and it was crewed by Michael Collins, Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong. Let's find out more about their amazing journey. July 16th, 1969 was definitely not a normal day. After years of training, planning and preparation, Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins and Buzz Aldrin were about to go to the moon. Apollo 11 took off on a Saturn V rocket, still the tallest, heaviest and most powerful rocket ever built. It was built in stages, designed to break off and fall to Earth once the fuel had been burnt up. At the very top was a small command module, where the crew spent three days eating and sleeping and exercising and going to the toilet. It was attached to the lunar module, named Eagle, designed to take Buzz and Neil to the surface. But landing Eagle was tricky. Well, we're drifting to the right. NASA control and the world held its breath. And then... The Eagle has landed. Neil Armstrong was the first to step out of the lunar lander, becoming the first human to set foot on another world. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. I love this line, but apparently he meant to say one small step for a man, not for man. Neil and Buzz collected nearly 22 kilograms of moon rocks and dust, set up the American flag, and of course, took these incredible photos. After an astronaut sleepover on board Eagle, Neil and Buzz rejoined with Michael and made for home. There were giant parades and celebrations around the world, including here in Australia. In the years that followed, NASA sent more people to the moon. But it was the original journey that captured the imagination of people everywhere. Like I mentioned earlier, Australia played a big part in the Apollo 11 mission. Because of the way the Earth rotates, it wasn't possible for NASA to stay in touch with the mission all the time from the US. So it needed the help of telescopes on the other side of the world, i.e. here. NASA built dishes at Honeysuckle Creek and Tidbin Villa near Canberra, and it also borrowed the CSIRO telescope here at Parks. When they actually landed, it was Parks that had the best signal, so most of the pictures that people saw came from here. They even made a movie about it called The Dish. I mean, no offence, but uh, the Americans spend billions of dollars to let us watch man walk on the moon, and in the end it falls to you, blokes. <laughs> I mean, how do you feel about that? A lot better before you open your trap. Imagine what it would have been like to watch in real time as humans did something we once thought was impossible. Well, there are plenty of people who remember the moon landing, probably even some of your family members. We asked kids to ask their grandparents what that historic day was like. Where were you guys when you watched the moon landing? That's the thing I remember best because we got the afternoon off school. Yeah, well, I was still at school and we all, the whole school stopped. We didn't have television in South Africa those days, so we had to rely on, on the radio for news. What was going through your mind while it was happening? My head. Astonishment, really. We all thought it was very exciting because it was something that we would never have thought would happen. How did you feel when they came back to Earth after the mission? It was a huge achievement when mm. you think about it. Getting, because, it's one thing to blast a rocket off into space, another thing to get it back safety. And also the great feeling that I had actually seen a great part of history. And I do remember at night time looking up at the moon and thinking, it's just wow, there's, there's people up there. I did that too. Yeah. After that we know that it is possible if you are really dedicated and if you want to have success, well, that's it for this BTN Apollo 11 anniversary special. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've certainly had an awesome time here at Parks.